Game on. Fiji send the kick off high, and it's beautiful work at the top of the jump as well from Nanduvalo. Incredible skill up high. Fiji in possession. Rasaku sends it midfield for Mother Nathangi, who runs through a rare grub. And Mother Nathangi now giving chase, looking for the turnover. Gets great work over the ball, but it spits back for France and now spits out for Fiji. Here they come through the man who got them moving from the kickoff. Try Fiji. And it's Nanduvalo. He got him rolling, KT, and he gets to finish it off too. Oh, his supreme skill in the air, unmatched. Look at this here. One on one versus Zegda. Nanduvalo just batters that ball back to retain the restart. He keeps us with great turnover in the counter right in Fiji. I spoke about a pre-kickoff. Whoever can own that area is going to be a huge chance. And I just feel, Shawnee, that Fiji can sniff a massive opportunity this weekend seeing your Black Sevens and the home team go out. And they look on already. Saturanga. Again, Fiji get up at the restart, and again it falls for them. Saturanga running the trail line infield now bounces it wide. Looking ominous here for France as Fiji get about their work through Rasaku. It's on wide left here if they can work it a more than a thungy. Sevu more than a thungy skips out of the tackle, and the giant crashes over. Oh, just the body language of the Fijians. Yamathea is the sign as it goes up. Again, great work at the restart. This is a beautiful tip on from Rasaku onto Saturanga. And now the balls that weren't going for them yesterday and the week before are starting to stick a moth on Othangi. Good luck stopping that. Thirty-three years of age, he's been doing it. For a long, long time now on the circuit, the Olympic gold medalist. He's calmed down a little in recent times, hasn't he? He's always such a firebrand, especially in games against New Zealand, big Sevu, but more mature in his footy. He's just getting better and better as well. I think he's just been able to tame it a little bit. I think it's still simmering there under the surface. Love it. I don't want to scratch that surface either. He's been terrific. Ben Ryan, Baber, and current coach as well, Benny Gollings. All three have had the benefit of working with the rangy creator of countless Fijian tries, creates and scores, and whacks in defence as well. Speaking of, here he is going in, ripping and tearing. It is for. Rebage working across the line. They've been starved of possession and real estate France in this first quarter, but it's come away now again for Fiji after France were building nicely. Mother Nathangi holds up the defence and then sends it wider. Advantage. To Nanduvalo. Number. We've got a penalty advantage coming here, taken out late Nanduvalo, and maybe 24. more sanctions to come. 91. 91 off the slate. Yeah. Urugaha yeah. is going to be sent off there for the two minutes the late option. shot. Penalty here or penalty so just over Constantini. There. Strong option. The pressure on themselves here. Late tackle. Watch this tap here, Sean. Look at the Fijians defence in their hands up. Something they've spoken about. They all on. come up, they all got their hands up with their body shapes. Closer. Something I've just noticed already. And they got the turnover two phases after that. Point. Set. Thirty by Bukayaro under pressure in France. Rush up. Down a man here, Fiji looking to capitalise. That's a lovely ball placement. Back on the deck, sets up play for more than a thung. Good work down low. It was from Talatholo. He has another crack at the little 
bump and run, does the flyer. And this time around, there's no one to clip his wings and he flies away for another one. Nanduvalo, Fiji are running hot. Well, it's the heads up play because Irugaha, who normally patrols that sweeper, isn't there. He's off the park still. So no one in behind, six up in the front line for France and executed beautifully. But Nanduvalo, that is just smart rugby sevens right there. Duvalo again. He was a man who essentially ignited Fiji's run towards his 17 point lead off the kickoff. He wanted back for his side, and since that handle, it has just been all the men out of the Pacific. France have struggled to make any inroads whatsoever. Is that about to change now as they send it to the edges? Timo. Timo. Yes. Too quick on the angle, and it's 17 5. Well, it's got them back into this game, that's for sure. Remember, they've only got six men on the field. So that's a much-needed boost. You can see the numbers wrapping around yep. and creating that overlap. Fiji get caught defensively, jamming in a little bit too much. And that's a big moment in this game for France with Andy Timor getting the score. There's a power play with the Sinbin from France. Actually evened it up. Fiji scored and then they scored back. Back off blue. Ooh, France with more possession here. Hang on a second. Riva picks up the loose restart. And despite being down a man for two minutes in that first half, France, against the run of play, have made it. 17-14, right on half time. Look at that height from Irugaha, who's just come back on. That's pretty loose, to be fair. There was a lot of numbers around for that tap back for Fiji, but obviously no communication. And Fordin Riva puts it right under the horns, and they are right back in this one. Okay, it's tight at the turn. Fiji up by three. Fiji led 17 zip at one stage for those couple of tries to Timo and Riva. Late in the first half, and on come Le Bleu again. Off towards the line, scoots Grand Didier, and they'll go in. He found Iraqua, the trail runner. And it's 19 straight points for France. They're in front. Whoever's owning the restart is owning the tempo of this game. Look at this, the lifting yeah, yeah. pod. Can't make the, the play. Beautiful restart from the try scorer, William Arugoha. Nice in ball from Grand Didier. He's always a threat on the edge. And France, this is what makes them so dangerous. When they get it right, they are oh so good. I was watching them cut around in the ninth place playoff on pitch two late. Last weekend, calling that with Claire Thomas, thinking, what are you blokes doing out here? You're too good. You're too good to be in this setup. And they've shown it here this weekend what they're really all about. The conversion missed the mark. So it's two points in favour of Le Bleu, who just steamrolled through this breakdown. And then have sharp hands to the outside to set up an opportunity here for Grand Didier. Nice long ball place, but this time coming from France, that should be a penalty and is. They tap and run. Not back. 
the required 10. Reva sending it across the line. No advantage taken. Number four. We go back midfield. What do you do, KT? Set the scrum? Yeah, I think you do. Number four, not 10. Right in the middle of the field park is a tough place to defend. Oh, it's, oh no. Hang on. Wait. What? Try France. Is it getting reviewed? Was It all got very scrappy very quickly. The try stands. It's 24-17. The replay will show it up. I thought Rugwa may have lost this one, KT. He taps it and it goes forward. It doesn't go off the hand, but look at this. Tip on. You make the decision yourself. But that tip on there from Ravage was fantastic. It's the not often used mini chip that runs 40 centimetres. It had everyone in disbelief thinking, what? We ain't seen that before. They'll be eyes up next time around. This is a crucial conversion on the way to put it past the converted try. Can't hit it. They are down by 17 fronts. They have roared back into the contest. Crazy stuff. A crazy morning of Cup quarterfinals with Ireland putting down New Zealand for the first time to progress. Australia beating South Africa. Oh no, it's back for France again. Fijian fans watching on must be scratching their heads trying to work out what happened with their team. Clear release. Running no, clear release. fast and running superbly towards a 17 point lead. And since then, KT, it's just been all the French. They switched off for one minute at the back end of that first half and they haven't been able to get the ball back and therefore Time momentum, massive, massive tap kick here. Perez swinging wide and his playmakers turn it back to the short side. Still plenty of time here for Fiji if they can make a defensive stop here. Down by just seven. Perez looking to get it over the top. Here we go, finally, Fiji back in possession. Rasaku looking in the direction there of Salturanga. Couldn't connect. Again, France slammed through the breakdown. Still here for Fiji, though. Switching up play beautifully at the line. Back here for Veloa, who was part of the Dream Team nominees last week. More possession for Rasaku, who just hangs on at the line. Scrappy, they lose their shape. Oh, that wasn't the option for Tala Tholo. He's handed possession straight back, and Fiji oh, will dodge another score. After the little slip there, it got real messy real quick from both sides, but crucially for Fiji, they escape any damage, and they're still in the fight. They're finding a way to hang on, aren't they, Fiji? Defensively, you just feel yep. the second half, it's all been played in their 22. And it's interesting, using the kick. Yes, it's come off a couple of times this weekend. But Talatholo to stack more pressure on his side with that loose chip. If you're going to do it, go long. But these are the situations built for guys such as the Rasaku where they stand up deep in their own 22. How many times, Sean, have we seen this VGN team in this situation just pull something crazy up? What chance, golden point. What chance, extra time. Fiji will kick. Six Perez stop. saw it Six coming stop. and got moving quickly. He'll be under pressure, but he'll be in possession. The French veteran trying to scoot away from the cover defence. Fiji stands strong in this tackle. Now drop him. France, a minute 47 away from going through to the cup semi-final and taking on Australia. Sefo. Sefo, penalty advantage here for France. We're going to capitalise immediately. Grandidier. No. Was that one out? Yes is the answer. France pulled in and Fiji scragged them to the deck. Perez back again. Trying to work the clock. Heading towards his own halfway line. The halfway line. His try line rather. Fiji looking for the counter right now. Balls out, balls out. Back it comes though for Le Bleu. 
Here's the penalty. Is this the moment? Fiji can make it click. The stack to the right if they get it there. That's the way they head. Bukayaro. This is Matana. Matana. Switching play late. Ooh, that one looked forward. Still with Fiji though. Bukayaro. Flattens up the line. Cross field they head. Here's the late switch. Rosaku. Rosaku, one of the best players on the series. He's going to come around and make it tricky. Do you take your time with the conversion or do you try and rush it through so you've got more time, KT? I think they're going to take their time here, but oh. Rosaku, he is absolutely legit. That guy. Oh, he has been a monster over the course of the two weekends. Massive, massive kick coming up, Shawnee. Try and have two bites here, KT. They'll try and get it away. They do before the siren. It's good anyway. So we will have extra play, will we? Oh, it's just going to go straight to extra time. He didn't get it away before the full-time hooter. If he had have, it would have meant that Fiji would have had the restart. They probably would have preferred that. But Ben Golings and his men finish... Normal time, locked at 24 apiece with the three. And as Carlton Anna mentioned, the sides who've got up and playing the restarts have gone on to put points on the board in this one. Almost with certainty. Okay, so Fiji through Bukayaro. Gets sudden death underway. Perez is back. And he gets hammered on his 22. Front. Sending it away there through Rebage. Logel. Perez. Wider here for a man who's caused some issues on the edges. Sefo. No ruck, so. France offloaded now. Look at cut through the middle. Perez. Good handling. Stringing the passes together. Logel floating it wide. Setting up a race down that left hand side for Sefo, who's just caught. Progressing nicely though here. France upfield. Bit by bit. Pass after pass. Perez. Bukayaro with an excellent stop. And now the penalty for Fiji. Gee, that's a good tackle from Bukayaro. And he looks up, looks around, says, let's get on with it. Nandavala, no one back here. He senses it. He's tackled late. It'll be a penalty and should be, if we're staying true to form like we were in the first half, a yellow card for France. It'll be seven on six. Oh, pressure does funny thing to play as Rabaz so tried to pull out late, but he's already committed. And that's the feeling of the French supporters. A reminder, the winner of this one will go through to take on Australia in the second cup semi-final after they put away South Africa earlier. And New Zealand fans, bad news. I'm sorry to be the one to deliver it. Your side went down to Ireland in their cup quarterfinal. They're out of contention Crouch. for the major prize here in Cape Town as well. Bind. Argentina awesome. First up, so Set. Argentina, Ireland. That's cup Steady. semi-final one. The Luka second, Australia V, either of these two sides. Bukayaro, who made that key defensing depth it moments ago to present his side with possession. I have to get on your feet. Here they go. Fall back. That point is not 10. Fiji. Not back 10. Get marched upfield. France not back the 10. Who's busting this one open? Buka Yaro. They've got the one man advantage here. Fiji. Talatholo. Dropped. 40 out. Good pressure at the breakdown from France, but they fringe again. And Fiji look to go quick through Nandu Vola. They won't back 10. There's another penalty coming here for Fiji. And there might be another card. It might be seven on five. It is. So the game 
is in the hands of the Fijians. Can they just clench on and drag off a try to progress? Well, it's 5 v 7 now, so they've got to have a half back. Look at that back line. It's going to be three on one. So France Five. have to try and out-muscle Fiji at the Six. scrum. Time off. All right. Yeah, don't lie. Set and hold. Hold it. Do, do not pull back. How many set times out there. of 100 should you be set. scoring from set piece with a two-man advantage, Carl Tanana? Yeah. 101 Best times one. out of 100. <laughs> Time back on. That's good from you. Crouch. And if you've mocked the Fijians, good luck when you get over Point. there in the new year when you're off to the Coral Coast. Set. Hold. Okay. This should be clockwork for Fiji. Nandu Valo. Nandu Valo denied initially. Was that lost by Lorgel? It was. Just knock on. Yeah. Just knock on. Goes with both hands. It was good pressure at the scrum, which gave the halfback a chance. To upset. And he, I can see the hands on hips. He's just thinking, get the ball out, get it wide. You're going to have one more chance. For the five-man advantage, no, they're going to back, be back at, up to six so now, front. You had them at 101 out of 100. You couldn't have got it more wrong. Time back on. You were way off. Standard. That was a bizarre play from Fiji coming short side with numbers to burn out to the right. So it's now seven on six. Set. Can the French hold on again? Back it comes. Nandu Valo. They send it wide. Bukayaro sends his man infield. My Simon. Now for Bukayaro. France get their defensive line set. They get it set. But then they get it cracked open by the little playmaker. Who gets the job done. Bukayaro with the walk-off try. And Fiji... Progress to the Cup semi-final against Australia. A crazy old game comes to a close. And Fiji are through to the final four.